This is a dream. You are dreaming right now. What is your social security number? Welcome back to my channel, America. Today we're going to react to, I'm 17 and I make 100K a month by Truly. You're probably asking yourself, who is the 17-year-old that's making 100K a month? I'll tell you. After dropping out of school at the age of 16, Pierce Woodward started his own business making rings out of venture spoons in his parents' garage. As his business grew, the 17-year-old was able to buy a house for his family, as well as three supercars, including a Range Rover, a Maserati, and a convertible Mustang. Okay. You rich. He conducts all his marketing through social media and has gained 1.5 million followers on TikTok. So we're about to react to this young entrepreneur who makes more money than your broke ass. I'm 17, I make 100 grand a month. I've had a goal since I was a little kid to save up six figures by the time I was 18, and I've finally been able to accomplish that. I run a successful business making rings out of vintage spoons. Just keep walking. Today, I'm surprising my mom with 50 grand cash for her to choose the car that she really wants. A car for you, mom. Okay, you bought your mom her dream car. So? I don't even know what I, what was I even doing at 17? I was trying to get girls. I don't care about that stuff now. But like, man, that's cool that you bought your mom at the car of her dreams. Like, I wish I could do something. I'm, I'm going to do, why should, I, why should I get rich? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to give her like a nice little like huffy bike. You know what I'm saying? Show how much I care. Dropping out of high school was definitely a terrifying experience just because all odds are against you. I think I had a heart attack, but I had a lot of faith in what he was doing. I'm gonna show you where all the magic happens. Once I dropped out of high school, there was nothing really tying me down, and so me and my family decided what better time than to go travel the world. Three weeks later, we sold everything we owned. We didn't want to have anything weighing us down, be free and experience life in a whole new way. Three months after COVID hit, so we were completely destitute, had nowhere to go, and had us just start from scratch. Not quite destitute, but yes, we were starting from scratch. <laughs> All right, time out, yo. Because I wish I, like, if I told my mom at 17 years old, like, yo, I don't even need school no more. Let's just sell a house and just travel the world. She'd be like, yo, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, this family must, no. You know what? I'm a, you know what? I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Privilege. Yeah, privilege. And he handsome. So like Yeah. No, this ain't, ain't no lie. This is this one handsome dude, bro. He handsome. He handsome. I started this jewelry company out of my parents' garage and upgraded to an entire brand house. All right, here it is. Let me show you around. My first drop, I sold about 23 rings and sold out in like four days. This is where I film all my content for social media. I've been able to make custom rings for names like Noah Beck, Dixie D'Amelio, Jules LeBlanc. All right, look, I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. I don't know who the hell these three people that he just named is. I swear to God, I don't. They TikTokers, yo? Do they do TikToks? I know, I heard the, the D'Amelio girl, I, I kind of know her, I kind of know her. But all the, them two other boys, Noah Beck and Jules LeBlanc, I'm, I'm surprised I even remember their name. I don't know who the hell they is. I hope they doing well in life though, so like, yeah. And the dad just, yo, don't the dad, all right, look, and don't the dad look like, <laughs> don't the, <laughs> All right, <laughs> don't the dad look like Rob Snyder? Is it just me, or do he look like Rob Snyder? As you can see right here, we have everything laid out for the next drop. We just did the product photography yesterday. Here's our manufacturing process we go through to make our rings. First, we start off with a spoon. After it's sized, we grab bolt cutters, we cut it on the line, we hop on the grinder, we grab the sander and smooth out the edges entirely. And then we hop on the bender and it gets bent into a ring. We'll sell anywhere from a thousand to fifteen hundred rings a drop. That ain't too bad. That's actually like it's not like oh yeah, his family might be rich, but he's actually like talented. This is actually a talent. I wish I learned how to make rings out of spoons. I'm just sitting here talking to y'all. Not getting paid for it. Today, I'm surprising my mom with a bag of cash and telling her she can buy her dream car. I had my dream car, and it was my Corvette. It was a white convertible Corvette. And when I drove that car, I would laugh. 
and it made me giggle and it made me so happy i'm gonna say it. you know i'm gonna say it. i'm gonna just say it. y'all see the mom right y'all see it y'all see it pierce you want stepdad bro I'm just asking, man. You need help, with you? I support your business. You see how the father, like, low-key hating? Low-key? Pierce, you need a stepdad, bro? Shit. I saw her emotion when she had to sell her car to support our family. So we rented this car as a surprise, but what she doesn't know is we have 50 grand cash for her to choose the car that she really wants and all the colorways that she wants. Let's do it. Let's go. She only sold the car because your dumbass wanted to start a business and told everybody, yo, we leaving to go travel the world and stuff. Pierce, you the reason why she, you the reason why she said she had to sell her car. Dumbass. Okay, keep your eyes closed. I'm going to walk you. Just keep walking. Pierce. I thought it was a ring because it was in a ring box and I love when he makes great rings for me. Oh my gosh! <laughs> How do you like it? I freaking love it! I know oh you do. Oh my gosh! I actually have a, a slight separate surprise for you. Alright, so, second surprise. This car is actually not yours. I can't Here's get the one Here's $50,000 cash. <laughs> to go get the one I want. And you get to go... Thank <laughs> you. You get to go pick out the car that you want. <laughs> Isn't it so nice doing stuff for your parents, yo? It's so beautiful. Mom! Mom! I'm trying to call her. Mom! She busy right now. She don't care about her dream car right now. Any color, any brakes. You anything. know I love that too, right? You love cash. I know you love cash. Hold that cash. That's $50,000. All for you, mom. <laughs> Oh, you. <laughs> you could never imagine what it feels like to have your 17 year old buy you your dream car back again. There's no feeling like that. It is the best car. Oh. All right, look, I got a lot I want to say. One, the son is just flexing on the dad. Like, the dad can't pull. Dad, you can't sell rings. Brokey. I feel like every time Pierce walks around the house, he should, like, end every sentence with, with your broke ass. Like, his mom be like, Pierce, you want uh, breakfast? Yeah, I would love breakfast with your broke ass. Pierce, you want to go to the soccer game? I would love to go to the soccer game with your broke ass. Ever since the age of 12, I've always wanted to buy my mom her dream car. And now I finally had the financials to do it, and it's the best feeling ever. I am so incredibly proud of Pierce. I want to go travel the world. I want to go just explore, maybe live in a van for a couple years, meet some hippies, make some rings with some hippies. Life's all good. Mom, is that you? Oh, I, I just bought you a car. <laughs> You know damn well you don't want to live in a van for a couple years and make some rings for some goddamn hippies, you goddamn liar. Goddamn. Shout out to Pierce, man. He doing the thing thizzle right now, selling his rings out of spoons, man. I'm like, I got no, I got no talents. Like, what am I doing with my life, bro? Well, that's the end of the video, you guys. What can we learn from Pierce Woodward? We can learn that Y'all broke, and y'all forever going to be broke. You can't afford to buy your mom a car because you broke. We also learned that with hard work, dedication, and a lot of vigor, you too can finesse your parents into selling their house and telling you, yo, let's travel across the world. So, yeah, follow your dreams. Well, that's all I got to say for today, y'all. Thank y'all for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. My name's Amir, and don't forget. You broke. You broke bastard. You never, you never gonna amount to anything in life ever in life ever. Cause you broke and you forever gonna be broke. You're poor. You are poor.